Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. I got some bad news guys. As of June 11th, 2023, the following item is going to be illegal. Not illegal in the sense that they're going to haul your butt off to jail, but in the sense that it's going to require a prescription. It's going to become far more inaccessible than it is now where you can just go and get it over the counter. Fortunately, we have a company called Jace Medical, which is revolutionizing the preparedness medicinal space and uh, we have alternatives now so this couldn't have come this jace medical that i'm going to talk about couldn't have come at a better time and you can get that through the link below and you're probably wondering what the hell is he talking about well i'm talking about fish antibiotics because you see preparedness medicinal cabinets all over the world for many many decades were stockpiling fish antibiotics for some reason now I can't disclose the reason because, of course, we don't want to be charged with medical misinformation. And I would strongly only encourage people to use medicines that are prescribed by a physician for the purpose that they're intended to be used for. But some people stockpile this stuff here. This is fish antibiotics, okay? This, is, this one is amoxicillin. We have Cipro. We have uh, clindamycin. We have Ciflexin and a variety of others, penicillin, etc. Right now, there is a shortage in the world of antibiotics. Is this somehow related to that? I'm going to read you a article which is released by the Michigan State University Extension, I believe. And uh, we're going to talk about why they are prohibiting this now from being purchased over the counter. Like I said, it's okay because you can still get your antibiotics from Jace Medical. And guys, if you can get this, I would encourage you to get it because there is an antibiotic shortage in many countries around the world because of the supply chain snags and the bullwhip effect that was caused by you know what, which appears to be circulating. Again, stay tuned for that because that's going to be discussed in our next video. But Jace basically gives you a supply, an emergency supply of antibiotics. This is probably one of the best investments for your first aid kit to make it a next level first aid kit. And according to studies done by the US military, this stuff is gonna last far longer than the expiration dates. Now, I'm gonna refer you to the study by the US military. I believe it was called a drugs life extension program something to that effect the pentagon had like billions of dollars worth of medications they didn't want to throw it away so they did a bunch of tests they found that after even 10 years that 90 percent of medications were still highly effective although slightly less potent but still useful so if you're worried about longevity um, you know, that's something you probably don't have to worry about too much. But again, I'm not giving any medical advice here. I'm just referring you to what's available and I'm informing you to what the laws are. Now, for the longest time, people just got this fish antibiotic stuff for their fish, okay? And uh, this, you're not going to be able to get this anymore, okay? So antibiotics are used widely to fight bacterial infections in humans. This is the article from Michigan State University. However, if bacteria develop a resistance to that antibiotic, the drug becomes less effective in fighting the infections. For this reason, for this reason, they claim over-the-counter antibiotics will only be available to producers from a veterinarian or with a prescription from a veterinarian. So right now, I think, at least not in Canada, but in the United States, you can just go over the counter and get this stuff by as much of, as you want. It's about the same as Jace Medical, so you might as well get the human stuff if that's what your intention is. But especially now with all the shortages and stuff, this Thomas Labs um, medication is probably close to just as much and some people want the reassurance to know that something is designated to be used just for humans because after all that's what we're using it for right wink wink so to ensure continued effective use in humans and animals the u.s food and drug administration center for veterinary medicine has developed a five-year veterinary stewardship plan designed to slow the emergence of antimicrobial resistance that can arise from the misuse of antibiotics in animals while ensuring safe and effective use of medically important antibiotics in animals and humans. So all medically important antibiotics in doses forms such as injectable, uh, intramammary, 
uh, or N. bolosis approved for use in animals, both food producing and companion, will no longer be available over the counter. So this is big. See, we've been actually saying this for a couple of years. If you're not familiar with our This Is Gonna Be Illegal Soon series, we talk about a lot of things, everything from high-powered flashlights to various uh, radio frequencies or radios which utilize various frequencies that are going to be banned soon. All of these things are preparedness related because remember if you're, you know, the government is always trying to uh, ensure that it remains the government and uh, just to keep us safe, sometimes they have to restrict access to things that would allow us to perhaps be more self-reliant for our own safety, of course. Now, I understand antibiotic resistance. I don't know enough about it, per se, to presume that it's going to be, you know, the average guy who's given his animals uh, some antibiotics that's causing it, or, you know, is that just 1% of it? I'm pretty sure that it's the factory farm usage of this stuff which is leading to antibiotic resistance. But you know, they're the boss, at least uh, right now anyways. So the drugs are also going to display the following statement. Federal law restricts this drug to use by or to be used on the order or sorry, federal law restricts this drug to use by or on the order of a licensed veterinarian. Products sold over the counter are typically sold at farm stores, feed stores and online suppliers. That's where a lot of people get it. Now, I'm not in any way encouraging you to go out and get this stuff and use it on anything but what its intended purpose is. I want to make that abundantly clear. Uh, and I want to give shout out to Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy, who they're the authors of the Survival Medicine Handbook. This is the total guide, a compendium of all of your emergency preparedness medicinal issues. This is the book you need when the hospitals are too full or you don't want to go to the hospital because it's too scary after the shizzy hits the fizzy or there just is no hospital and there is no emergency services and there is no help coming. You're gonna find things in that book that you're not gonna find in first aid manuals. The definition is in the title, first aid, right? This is not a first aid manual. This is a survival medicine handbook. This is for when the grid goes down and there is no doctors around. But you should always consult with a physician if that's available to you, uh, whenever that's possible to do so when you're making any sort of medical decision. And uh, it's not intended to be a replacement for your doctor, just like this is not intended to be a replacement for your doctor. Jace does provide a booklet that talks about the various ailments that are treated by the different types of antibiotics, but I would encourage you to maybe do some research to supplement that because one criticism I have of Jace is that that is a little lacking in that department. However, the Survival Medicine Handbook and other books written by Joe and Amy Alton cover that area fairly succinctly. Now, I'm gonna be making another video in probably half an hour or so about the thing that continues to circulate. I got a very unsettling email and I want to keep that as a dedicated video, but I want to give you guys a heads up on this. As of June 11th, 2023, no more fish antibiotics are going to be in the hands of the average person without a prescription from a veterinarian. So if you have a lot of fish, get them while you can, but if you want to go the easy route, go with Jace. It's a very simple process. You can get this in Canada or the United States. It's totally legal. It's been fully approved by all of the uh, bodies that would have to approve something of this sort. And it's pretty easy. It's pretty painless. A doctor will text you and then phone you and then you have a quick consultation what the, what the purpose is. It's perfectly legitimate to have something like this for emergency purposes. And I can't emphasize enough the fact that Jay still has access to this even though there is a global shortage of antibiotics is very, very surprising. So I'm not encouraging anybody to self-diagnose or you know, self-administer without consultation from a physician. I wanna make that abundantly clear. And I'm not just saying that just to say that. It's very important that you only use medications 
you know, for a designated ailment when you in fact absolutely need to do so, okay? So I just wanna give you a heads up on that, guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because the next video I'm gonna break down what I found out in this email and it is of great concern to me and uh, hopefully it's not true what this person is speculating, but they make some very compelling points. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys, Canadian Prepper out.